important reminder. All information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein. So, um, next thing we're going to do here is just a few minutes of gua sha. And, and the, the few gua sha tools we have, we'll have about 200 different beautiful gua sha tools we're getting. They're all made out of jade. Uh, and, and the gua sha tools are necessary. You can't use stainless steel spoons. You can't use really wood. You can't use things that really are going to damage your skin. This has been around for thousands of years. Okay, you can look up gua sha, you know, tools. And this isn't something that just happened yesterday. These are made out of animal products uh, because you don't use anything. This is a petrified stone. Rocks work well. Anything that's super smooth it has to be fine, fine, smooth. Now, this is actually a deep dredger. <laughs> This is actually to go into the deep tissue. Remember we talked about the lymph. This is what we use this for, skin. This is below the lymph. This is into the tissue. And this is the part of the tissue, of course, we call muscle. So first thing we would do on anyone, remember, lots of coconut oil. I'm just going to do him just like I would myself. Oops. Amount of coconut oil. And I got this from Pangaea over on the big island of Hawaii. I paid five bucks for it or something. And these are the best, best tools I found that are I, you know, at your fingertips. That's why we've just put together a huge order of different types of Gua sha tools, because if not, this technique is not really easy to do. Because if you tear your skin once or twice, you're going to say this isn't cool. And if you do tear your skin, it's only because you're silicon deficient. And if you really bruise, it's because you have what's called capillary fragility. Okay, and capillary fragility means when you go over these things, the capillaries break and tear because they're fragile, because they're demineralized and or clogged. And all we're doing is scraping and re-energizing, re, as you say, rejuvenating the electrical system and the, and the vascular system. So I use the corner of the tool. The corner of the tool is, has a sharp edge. You can use the end of the tool. Remember, this is a self-taught school. You're gonna learn some things. There's no exact way to do it like the yoga swing. Okay, I can spend three hours showing you the yoga swing. You can put it towards athletics. You can put it towards just the sick and tired people that are stiff. You can put it towards people who really, really want to excel uh, in hypergravity, upside down, you know, uh, uh, cleaning of the brain. Now you can see immediately, I didn't start him. He's already got black stuff coming out. I only made one swipe. Okay, watch. This, is, this comes out. Once you clean the skin and this acid goes inside, check it out. You can see it. It starts changing color. You can see it starts getting dark. Look. Huh? This, is, this is that pus. You can see how he's red right here? Okay. You can see how what we've done here, you can see the skin has a little red mark. It's brand new now. We just opened up something, brought blood to an area that had no blood previously. It's pretty smart. Remember, the thicker this skin is, whoa, the more you got to be careful. I'm doing it pretty decently, not hard. I'm doing them decent. If I do them like I do myself, who really grows up. And actually, I know him well, so we're going to do him as a sort of medium. I'm not really worried about uh, um, hurting our friendship. Yeah, and or hurting him, because I know he's he's pretty pretty clean. You can see I'm pushing pretty hard, and he cleans up big time easy. Okay, you can see it just brings brand new. It's brand new. And it's 
can put the you can put the mic down here. You can hear the scratching. This all scleral derma. You do every part of every knuckle. Here's the top of his knuckle here. selection. Watch. You put the thing down here. Everything's got scleral. Everything. I don't care if it's your your pee pee. <laughs> it's got calcification. Is guys pull it out. <laughs> and once you do, you're free again. Think I'm joking? Give me try. Yeah, I'm called Dr. Bizarre. <laughs> you can see that every part of you. This is what you do on a Sunday. What do you think Sunday is? It's called the, the Christos Day. Go out in the sun. Take your clothes off. I made a new sun deck at the house because it's actually, you know, it's a, it's a misdemeanor to take your clothes off to show yourself. I and mean, everybody's got the same stuff. So, but remember, microbes don't like to show themselves. And who makes the laws of politicians are pretty big. Remember that, huh? The weird system here. A lot of the system here. I talk about microbes to certain groups of people, 18 to 30, they want to know more, and over that, basically, they call me an a-hole because I'm talking about things that are sensitive to their microbes. Remember, the snakes that live in the belly, they don't like me. Why? Because I'm sharing with you things that basically you may see. And as some guy came up to me, he says, yeah, I pooped out some parasites. What's the mind seeing when it's never seen what lives inside it before? Remember, do you believe what lives inside you is, is to alter the mind that you have? Okay, it knows. And this is actually a creature that's you. It takes five, remember, five generations for these things to become us. And so I know that the house is caused by mostly acid. So I'm just taking the skin, opening it up, and the acid's going away without kicking anybody's ass in town. I know that half the inhabitants live in acid. So open the skin up, nine pounds. Remember, biggest breathing organ of the body. I keep going over it because this is the number one thing everyone's got to see. Dr. Kazar, other than coconut butter, do you rub anything else into the skin? I only use really coconut oil for right now. It's the cheapest, easiest, most economical thing. Now what I do is I put the 24 karat gold, I put, it, I put some orthosilicic acid in, and I may manipulate it with maybe some fulvic humic and ulmic acid to make it so the coconut oil will break down into smaller particles and absorb inside me. I even sometimes put a little DMSO sometimes on it, dimethyl sulfoxide, to push the coconut oil in me. And that's what you would do on your face. If you want to get lauric acid in your, in your face to regenerate your face, you got to get it in the tissue. First, the tissue has to be clean so it can absorb into the tissue. And the sun is actually called your shrink wrap. Okay, you do all this stuff, and what you do is you get out the sun, and you do shrink wrap. It's shrink wrap. It pulls all your, your tissues tighter together. Okay? And my skin was really weird there for a while because it was all wrinkly and stuff. Because what, what's living you on underneath you is, is weird because it actually sort of dies and it, and it starts to get like, like Gacy says, check out your stomach in this picture. Mm -hmm. and so some of the stuff that lives underneath you is going to look really weird. The face is going to droop for a while. Remember, all this stuff needs to retighten. Skin, if it's stretched out to here, if you lose some of the tissue underneath, what do you think it's going to do? It's got to regenerate. And how to regenerate it? Remember, the sun is is really, as you can say, your savior. Okay? So use the sun to be able to regenerate you. Photonic light, don't look into the sun. I hear all the everybody talking about the sun. Just two seconds about this. I hear about sun gazing. Guys, there's a lot of people that hear about this, but be careful looking in the sun, because most likely you've got corneal microbes. And you think just the skin burns? Huh? Uh-uh. You look into the sun. And there's things that make you so you don't you're not supposed to look in the sun. Wear sunglasses for three weeks and see what happens. I wear my sunglasses because you can't see. It took me years to get off sunglasses. These are dark microbes. You live in the office. You go outside. You wear sunglasses, such and such. Well, I call these like Dave says. I call these the nanobes. They're not even microbes. They're so small and they hate light. Hate it. So if anybody's really wearing sunglasses, you'll see that. Train yourself to get off the glasses. And how you I did that is. I look up into the sun between, uh, you know, the morning and or afternoon hours in the late evening or early morning. And what I do is I don't look into the sun. That's not smart. It's too strong. My hair is long, so what I would do is I would take it around and use it as a shield to be able to actually shade cloth the sun and use my hair, once it's clean, to be able to fractalize it 
and be able to break up the light because you can't absorb light unless you put it in a prism. We know that, right? Okay? So looking into the light is not too good or closing your eyes, cleaning your eyelids and using your eyelids to be able to let the first little skinny panel filter this really strong light and look up into the light with your eyes closed but stretch your eyes out. And these are the beginning ways I found out for people because a lot of people are watching people and saying, oh, I can do this. No, you can't. You're going to burn your cornea. 